Thank you for coming to our international headquarters. I want you to know how much we really appreciate you. You're very special because the work that you're doing in the chapter, the testimonies you're giving. Can you imagine in thousands of cities around the world, every week there are thousands of men and women that are standing up and sharing their testimony of the power of Jesus Christ to change their life. Wow, what a light to this world. I started in the room and fell in the front room and I couldn't even get up. I was so exhausted during that whole week. I couldn't even go to work. I'd drive my car around just enough to put my eyes crying, just trying to hold, just trying. And you go home and Tommy would be there. And when I went in the room, I wept till 3 o'clock in the morning, about a little after 3, close to 3, maybe 3.15. Rose walks in the room and she sits at the organ and begins to play and and by this time I'm on my knees and all of a sudden the spirit begins to move. And I feel myself leaving the room, I can see the housetop, I can see the valley of Downey there in the area, and suddenly I'm way in space. I travel to all the continents. I saw men by the millions, see my dad, so see as far as you can see, millions. Now I'm looking to the faces. I've never traveled around the world. I see the black, yellow, white. I see the costumes, the way they wore. I had never traveled. And I look at them real close range, and they're frozen as though they're made of stone. Now, their hands are lifted. The millions, every hand was lifted as far as I can see. Palms up. You've seen people get the baptism, the Holy Ghost. There, she kind of glows on her face. The lips are just quivering. Just there's a hum. That's what I saw. It was just like wave, like wheat fields, a wave. Then at the close range, the hundreds. And then I'm looking at individual faces. Yeah, their face was just glowing. No more stone, but life. Like dead come to life. And the and the lips were just literally quivering and the glory of God was upon him. and that was true in all the continents. 1953 Clifton's Cafeteria birthplace of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. This is the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship breakfast on Clifton's Cafeteria third floor. We have a full house here this morning. God's Spirit is here. This is a businessmen's group laymen together we love Jesus Christ and we take him as our savior, as our healer, as our guide in everything we, we need. God leads and directs us. Everyone that's happy in the Lord say praise the Lord. God laid down my heart to call men back to God and that's a basic reason to bring men back to God, businessmen and laymen. I felt that was where the basis of the churches and the revival has to start from the grassroots. I knew that. And if I can get men fired up, and that was the job. <laughs> you know, because of the vision, we are globally as one. We're a special unit in the army of Christ. We're reaching people that no one else can reach, from presidents of the nations down to the very humblest person. And I want you to know that your faithfulness is resulting in between two and three million people coming to Jesus Christ every year through FGBMFI.